the hell is this? Whoa! Jesus. We're looking around and I hear Mark give out a little squall. Where in the hell did this casket with popcorn in it come from? A fan. Tell you, we're gonna come up here one night late and he'll be walking around here like Chucky. Hope he ain't got a butcher knife though. Tell him bye. Bye, popcorn. Close him up. Damn. Welcome back to the Moonshiners Season 12 Kickoff Summit. I'm the executive producer, Matthew Ostrom. Last season was the roaring 2020s for Shine, and the economy and liquor sales were through the roof, right guys? Yeah. In order to make this season's Shine economy work, our Shiners need to dive deep into their playbook by leaning on heritage and old traditions. Let's take a look. I got us some of that damn expensive corn here. What'd he hit you for? $25 a bag. Hell, you say? We paid 10 last year. We went through something to alleviate this problem. Don't you burn the burns out of that thing now. I'm trying to figure out where the gas goes in. <sighs> Son of a bitch. Yeah, this is poor I don't know what in the hell we've got ourselves into. Yeah, I'm done. <laughs> you know what's crazy? Gentlemen, <laughs> you guys are planting corn. You're you're going from shiners to farmers. Yeah, very yeah. poorly, I might add. Yeah, let's call that a bad decision. <laughs> yeah. You know, and I don't really know what we was thinking. I, what were you thinking? We've saved. It, it uh, ain't easy to work up. We've saved twenty-five dollars a bag. You know, we uh, it, it, we just there was a lot of stuff we didn't think. Come to find really out, twenty-five dollars a fifty weight for corn ain't a bad <laughs> price. Ain't too bad Turns out it's a pretty good deal. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> So why is heritage and tradition so essential during an inflation crisis? You know, during the Great Depression in our area, uh, people really didn't know there was a depression until a politician from Washington come through and told them because <laughs> nobody had anything. You know, you didn't have any more than your neighbor did. And you couldn't sell that damn corn at the market, but you could turn it into liquor and sell it. Exactly, you know, everybody have a bag of dry corn and starve to death, but if you could turn it into a jar of liquor, you could barter for something. So, you know, tradition and heritage plays an important role in every part of the economy of this country of ours. Sure. And Mike, what about you? Are you doing anything you never thought you'd be doing? Yeah, you know, I'm trying to think outside the box. I'm doing a lot of forging this season and stuff, um, you know, medicinal plants, stuff that don't cost me any money. Just tell us a couple of the ingredients that you've been using, because I think these guys would be really interested to hear. I know there's one that is really inventive. Well, I mean, I think the one that tops off that would blow everybody's mind on actually using, and, and if enough people was to, was to do this and harvest this actual plant and vine, they can help it get away from the south a little bit, which is kudzu. Oh, hell. Yeah, that I'm Damn. using kudzu vine. That'll, cut, that'll turn people against drinking. <laughs> it's a very medicinal, man. It helps with a lot of elements in blood pressure and stomach cramps. <laughs> There's one health benefit that kudzu has that a lot of people don't realize about. Um, it fights alcoholism, Mike, so um, you might <laughs> I actually that. run your I know customers that. off. Yeah, I don't know if you got a point or not, Maggie, but I'm going to be honest with you. If it works and it's good for you, you've got a never-ending supply of... <laughs> Liquor. He's right. Uh -huh. It won't kill you. It just don't taste wonderful. All right. Mike, you and Jerry have a bit of a surprise this season. You've decided to add a partner. Yep. Let's take a look. That's me, Bam and Solomon. Solomon? Sutton. Sutton? Yeah, boy. Uh-oh. That was the guy with the Sutton last name. <laughs> Any kind of old popcorn? Yeah, that's my dad. Your daddy? Hey, old fire. Well, my dad was popcorn Sutton. As Bubba says, I'm gonna make some wiki today. He ran liquor out here for a long time, up on Hemp Hill and all over Maggie Valley. Biggest question is, can you work and do you wanna work? Oh yeah. All right, so Mike, you decided to bring in Solomon Sutton, Popcorn's son. How did that come about? Well, um, as a matter of fact, Jerry actually knew the guy and introduced me to him. And, you know, we'd been thinking anyway, we might need some help or what have you. And who knows, you know, this kid may be able to bring something to the table that me and Jerry don't know nothing about. You know, some really old technique that he learned from possibly his dad or somebody in the Sutton family. But, I mean, as of right now, he's doing good. He's a damn good grunt worker for sure. 
maybe he can he can show us something. Maybe he can be a good part of our, our season this this season. That sounds good. What do you guys think about Mike working with Solomon Sutton? I know Solomon, but I'm not around him a whole lot. But if he's anything like his daddy, he's going to prove to be right difficult. Yeah, most you definitely. You know, he's not a bad kid. I mean, yeah, I really, that's popcorn's boy for sure. I really like Solomon. I think a lot of him, but now I'm not going to say that he won't prove difficult at some point. Speaking of popcorn, Sutton, Mark, and Digger, you guys have made a piss pot still in honor of popcorn, <laughs> Sutton. Let's take a quick look. You got that door? Watch this. Yeah. I'm talented as I'll get out. Today's the day that we take popcorn's old patterns and we're going to build us a piss pot out of it. We know this is the camp. Yep. This should be the exact width. These are just like the Dead Sea Scrolls. There ain't no more of these patterns to no. be cut out. All right, gentlemen. Can you explain what is a piss pot still? In popcorn's eyes, that's anything under a one barrel steel, 50 gallons. But what does it mean to the moonshine world that you have these original patterns, right? You know, I don't it's, know. it's like a lot of things. I mean, they probably don't mean a cup full of warm piss to somebody else, but you know, they're a priceless heirloom does. Me, I wouldn't take a million dollars cash money for it. Oh, now that's a lie. Well, I'm hoping somebody will offer throw it. the bull flag on that. <laughs> yeah, damn it, you blew your half. I was going to give you half of it. Somebody oh, we it. wouldn't take a million dollars. There you go. <laughs> okay. All right, guys, it's time for a viewer question. Here we go. At Jill Sports Car asks, what's the one job you thought you wanted but realized you didn't? Damn. I think we stumped him. I thought I wanted to grow a corn crop. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to be a delivery driver one time. Till that first delivery and that dog came out. Well, you you know, I mean, you ended up making deliveries, just just <laughs> just not <laughs> just not for the postal service. <laughs> All right, there's plenty more of the kickoff summit to come, including Mark and Digger's big reveal. You don't want to miss it. You know, this season we got some competition in town. We got Richard Landry trying to sell liquor in our territory. It ready to run? Oh yeah, tastes pretty damn good. But we've got Popcorn Sutton's son. He may be an ace in the hole for me and Jerry. He's been taught the old way, which is nothing wrong with that. Might want to pay attention. Oh, she's running. You got liquor, brother. Got a little spitting going on there. You want to take my pecker and stick in there? The what? Huh. Yeah. I was about to use this stick right here. Put that pecker in. It's good luck sticking your pecker in it. Oh, God.